In recent years, the Philippine Air Force has been continuously looking to improve its defense capabilities by considering various fighter aircraft acquisition options. One of the options being discussed is the purchase of 12 new F-16s. However, an offer from European countries has emerged offering two squadrons of used F-16s, totaling 24 units. This offer has attracted attention because the price is almost equivalent to the cost of acquiring four new F-16s. However, the legal and policy challenges in acquiring used military equipment are among the issues that the Philippine government needs to consider. The Philippine Air Force plans to purchase 12 F-16s, however, there is also an offer from European countries for two squadrons of used F-16s, totaling 24 units, which will soon be retired. In a recent Senate committee hearing on national defense, Senate President Miguel Zabiri revealed details about the Philippine Air Force's request for 12 F-16s. Zabiri recounted that during a visit to the United States, the Department of Defense informed him of an offer from a European country to provide two squadrons of used F-16s. These squadrons will be retired as the European country switches to the F-35 Lightning II fighter jet. According to Zabiri, the cost of acquiring the two F-16 squadrons is roughly equivalent to buying just four new F-16s. The offer also includes spare parts, training, and simulators for the Philippine Air Force. However, Zabiri said that the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, and the Department of National Defense DND, have yet to act on the offer due to the current procurement law and the revised AFP modernization law which prohibits the acquisition of used equipment from other countries. Bonds QPH, a defense news outlet, speculates that the F-16s in question may come from the Royal Norwegian Air Force and the Royal Danish Air Force. The outlet reported in July 2023 that the Norwegian F-16s had been allocated to Romania, while the Danish F-16s could be sent to Ukraine. Other European F-16 operators, such as Belgium and the Netherlands, could also be potential sources for the Philippines. The Philippines has been offered second-hand F-16s since the mid-1990s, but negotiations have never been conclusive, likely due to legal restrictions and the government's preference for new equipment, especially during President Rodrigo Duterte's tenure. While the revised AFP modernization law does not explicitly prohibit second-hand acquisitions, it does require that new equipment acquisitions be synchronized with the phasing out of obsolete systems. Zabiri proposed amendments to the government procurement law and the AFP modernization law, echoing similar proposals made by Senator Penfilo Laxon during the 18th Congress. Despite the challenges, other second-hand acquisitions, such as the U.S. Navy's Cyclone-class patrol boats, have continued to move smoothly. The reluctance to accept second-hand equipment stems from concerns about sustainability, as the AFP expects newly acquired assets to remain operational for 15 to 20 years. Thus, the debate over whether to accept second-hand military equipment continues to be a thorny issue for the Philippines. The Philippine Air Force is currently considering the option of acquiring 12 new F-16s, despite attractive offers from European countries for two squadrons of used F-16s. While the cost of these used aircraft is much cheaper, the legal challenges associated with acquiring used military equipment are a major stumbling block. The debate over the best choice between new and used fighter jets continues as the Philippines seeks to strengthen its defense amid changing geopolitical conditions.